Going into this game, couldn't feel better. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna rock it, take care of business, get it done, you know. One game in the I am yours, trust me, and I will lead you on the path. You. Path. Lead. Trust. Like a newborn baby to their family. You will be the highlight of the world. Highlight. Baby. World. Family. Believing that you have the redolence of a divine figure is the first step. Divine. Step. Redolence. Believe. Hawk. For hawks. Specifically for hawks. It's hard being a student, but imagine how hard it would be to be a hawk. Why are you late again? You really need to work on this, okay? Thank you. Good morning, Ankeny Hawks. It's time for another ID Blitz. Get those IDs. Let's go. ID, please. ID, please. ID. 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 What are we doing? I need the ID. We can't. You don't eat the ID. You don't eat the ID. I'm writing you up for insubordination. That's it. That's it. Hey Chris, you hear Justin Brammer got his pilot license? Yeah, he said he'd take me up around the clouds up there sometime. Let's take a look. The clouds? Turkey 3 at 100 zero caution, wake turbulence for departed MD-80 runway 31 at Papa, cleared for takeoff. 3190, caution, wake turbulence, runway 31 at Papa, cleared for takeoff. So, every time I go fly, I have to do a pre-flight. So what you do is you walk around, you check the fuel, and then there's a sump under there that you push up with a fuel checker and check the fuel, make sure there's no water or anything like this.
my name is Logan. I'm in current about this is gonna be my third year and you know we had a tough year but I'm just glad that we made it to the state championship game. My name is Gavin. Uh, this is my first year of curling. Well it's been a tough season but this is the meet that really matters so I'm really gonna get on my feet and try in this one. Uh, I didn't think we were gonna make it to the state but our coach really helped us so here we are. This is Ankeny Curling. Hello kids, welcome to Greg Lage's class. I'm going to tell you a story about when I was in high school. The year was 1988. I remember it was a glorious time. Ronald Reagan was finishing up his first presidency. America was great back then. I wish we could become great again. Now, I was playing ice hockey for the Conestoga Pioneers. Yes, we were named after a covered wagon. It was wonderful. And we were playing uh, Malvern Prep, a uh, very important rival of ours. We were three times defending state champs and they were our biggest rival. And in this game, it was an awesome game, it got rough. I think it was 2-1 when this happened. Uh, we had a player, Doug Smink, I think he played at Harvard or Yale, real good player. Dougie went down the outside and ripped a shot. And that shot went flying up and hit the goalie right in the windpipe. Crushed it. His windpipe was crushed. He lays on the ice and I will never forget the sound. I ever, it like haunts me in my sleep. It's like my silence of the lambs. All you could hear was him going, oh, 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 oh. Now, the game stopped. Everyone froze. Lucky for us, Doug Smink, not only a talented hockey player, his father, a surgeon. So Dr. Dougie Smink went to his car, got his little leather doctor bag, came out on the ice, and with a Bic pen, did what's called a Bic pen tracheotomy, where you take the pen out, you cut a hole in their throat, and you shove it in there, and because it's like a straw, a hard straw, they can breathe. Saved his life right there on the ice. Cut him and stuck a pen in his throat, and then all of a sudden you he could hear, and he was breathing again. Saved his life. So they clean him up, they get him off the ice and in an ambulance and take him. They come out and scrape up some of the blood. And then the refs go, all right, let's go, face off time. So after watching a guy almost die, and then getting a big pen tracheotomy, we then had to finish the game. We ended up winning 3-1, I think, at the end there. Um, I do know we won. The score, I'm a little unclear, but I do know we won. Um, and went on to win state again that year for a four-peat. It was a glorious time in my life, and I will never forget that moment. Mostly because of the sound. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Good morning, students. I'm Dr. Adams, Assistant Superintendent of Ankeny Community School District. I'm here to talk to you about the big game. One of some of the questions that the students ask that I need to answer for you today. The first one, where do we sit? Well, Ankeny Centennial Jaguars, you can plan on sitting on the north side of the stadium on the home side. Ankeny High School Hawks, you'll be on the south side on the home side as well. Friday night, will be youth football night. We'll have a lot of young kids running around that night and we really need you to be really good role models for those kids and demonstrate appropriate behaviors. But there's one final question that we need to answer before Friday night. Are you ready for some football? The curtain to the band, somebody say lights. Ankeny's about to hit the big stage tonight. The Hawks are on a roll in this high school view, but the Jags are hard to be with this type of mood. It's time to get ready, so I'm spitting at the mic. Cause all my friends rowdy on a Friday night. So get ready, I mean get ready. Are you ready for football? A Friday night party. But let's get it kick started, kick started. Hit brother, we rock.